through objective intellectual discourse and educational outreach. Distinguished guests, the continent of Africa, with its complex challenges and limited resources, should have considerable interest in making judicious use of scientific know-how as a vital tool to achieving meaningful and sustainable growth. Through this lecture series, the University of Ghana and the United Nations Institute for Natural Resources in Africa would work in tandem to host some of the best scientists and decision makers from around the world to escalate the process of utilizing scientific knowledge and technology to advance sustainable growth and development in Africa. Now the provision and expansion of investment in infrastructure, both tangible and intangible, are prerequisites for sustainable management of natural resources and inclusive growth in Africa. New technology-based growth requires new and innovative classes and infrastructure, such as digital connectivity, broadband communication networks, smart renewable energy grids, as well as sustainable transport systems. Now, several studies have documented the large gap between current infrastructure investment and what is needed to achieve the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. In 2016, the World Bank forecasted that African governments would require a cumulative increase in infrastructure spending of 20 billion United States dollars annually to achieve the water and sanitation SDGs, and another $1 billion US dollar to achieve universal access to electricity by 2030. However, as a result of global economic slowdown, most countries in Africa have reduced their infrastructure spending and public investment despite the availability of low-cost finance. Consequently, a new growth path of investment will be required to ensure sustainable growth and development in Africa. In this regard, innovative solutions with important contributions by new technologies have the potential to allow such infrastructure to be, to be provided and managed at reduced costs. You will agree with me that employing innovative solutions will require internalizing technology too, into everyday lives in Africa. And this is to be done in order to make it work to support development with practical solutions. The University of Ghana and INRA therefore have a unique and important responsibility in identifying challenges for research and in promoting scientific institutional frameworks to, de to deliver technology solutions for sustainable management of natural resources and inclusive growth in Africa. Now, as part of its mission of producing science for practice, UNU INRA is proud to adopt a holistic approach to solving natural resource challenges. And these are done in ways that enable interdisciplinary research, thus embracing the natural, social, and human sciences. In order to fulfill these tasks, UNU INRA, the University of Ghana, and other think tanks remain committed to collaborative, both nationally and internationally, in addressing problems, in searching for tailor-made solutions, and in analyzing and modeling the likely implications of policy options. Now, to change the dynamics, African governments need to take a more serious interest in local research bodies, including making the requisite investments to build the financial muscle of African research institutes and universities. And this would contribute to the growth and prosperity of the continent. It's anticipated that today's lecture will trigger useful conversations and propose valuable recommendations on how individual countries can better position themselves in the global economy in order to unlock their potential in escalating poverty reduction, inclusive development, and environmental sustainability in the context of a changing climate towards the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals. Finally, 
on behalf of the University of Ghana, and on my own behalf, I welcome you all to this all-important function, particularly Dr. Fatima Denton into the University of Ghana. I'm told that you are relatively new, and uh, you took up your appointment in September 2018 as director of the UNU INRA. You're welcome. We here at the University of Ghana look forward to working with you over many years to come. So we are hoping you stay at post for forever. I wish that we have a very stimulating lecture and a successful lunch. Thank you for your attention.